Hi, I'm Jay French at jfrenchstudios.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a wolf. Okay, to draw a wolf, and in this case we're going to concentrate on the head, you want to start with, we're going to do a front view, forward facing, sort of elongated sphere, slightly ovular. One of the most common mistakes is the distance between the eyes and the top of the head is much higher than most people realize. They have a very tall forehead because they're usually nose down looking up at you. Now the ears start below the top of the head, generally, from again from this angle. We want rounded tips, not too pointed, or you get a cat-like appearance. And they come almost to the outer edge of the head. Get the inner line that widens as it gets into the body, into the main part of the head. And we get some very peculiar fuzzy lines in here. We have the hair inside the ear. Generally, outside is longer fur on the head. So you can get some wide looks there. There's also a long distance between the nose and the eyes. So we will put the nose almost towards the bottom here. Because like I say, they're often nose down looking up. And I'll just give an impression of the darkness there for now. Of course the most distinctive feature on a wolf is the eyes. You want them almost straight at the top, curving downward rounded on the inside, but you will have an angle of darkness that goes out to those two points. Small pupil. We have a little white for having some life in it. Same quick impression over here to see the consistency. And fur patterns variate from wolf to wolf, but generally you usually have some type of eyebrow highlight such as this, and usually a highlight coming from the front of the ear. You usually have a dark streak on the nose, again not always, especially if you're drawing like a white wolf, but you might have just a little bit of shading there. And the def definition of the nose muzzle of course, we also want a very distinctive undershadow to the eyes. And this will go into the neck. And you barely will see the lower jaw. And that's how you get started with drawing a wolf.